amplitude modulation. So basically, what is a modulation? When the message or information signal rides over the carrier, it is the process of placing the message signal over some carrier to make it suitable for transmission over long distances. So modulation is of three types. Uh, one is amplitude modulation, second is uh, phase modulation and third is frequency modulation. In amplitude modulation, uh, the amplitude of the carrier will be modulated for the modulation process. Likewise, in the phase of when the phase of the carrier is mod uh, modified, it is called as phase modulation. And similarly, for frequency modulation, the frequency of the carrier will be modulated according to the mes uh, be, uh, message message signal or modulating signal. Demodulation. The modulated carrier signal is transmitted by a transmitter. The receiver receives this carrier. It separates the message signal from the modulated carrier. It is the process of separating message signal from the modulated carrier signal. So, the modulating signal modulates the amplitude, frequency or phase of the carrier according to its variation in amplitude. This results in amplitude, frequency or phase modulating waves. Okay. First, we are going to see AM envelope and equation of AM waves. In amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the carrier signal is varied in accor according to variation in amplitude of the modulating signal. So, let's represent our mo modulating signal or message signal by EM. And it is given as EM is equal to EM sine omega mt. And the carrier signal can be represented by EC as EC is equal to EC sine omega ct. So, EM is nothing but the maximum amplitude of, our, of the modulating signal and EC is the maximum amplitude of the carrier signal and omega m is the frequency of the modulating signal and omega c is the uh, frequency of the carrier signal. So the mathematical equation for the complete modulated wave is given as E a m is equal to E c plus E m ok E a m is equal to E c plus E m and we can write our E m as em sin omega ct okay which we already knew okay and here what we are doing now eam is equal to the it's nothing but instantaneous value of amplitude modulated wave okay so instantaneous value of the amplitude modulated wave will be given as eam is equal to eam sin omega c theta okay so we can write this as eam is equal to E A M sin omega C T. Okay. Finally, we can substitute this uh, value. Okay. Huh? Here in the equation, as E A M is equal to E C plus E M sin omega C T. Okay. Into omega sin omega C T. Okay. So what happens here? We are taking uh, sin omega C T as common note. Okay. So, our AM equation, wave equation is given as EAM is equal to EC plus EM sin omega MT into sin omega CT. Okay. So, next is modulation index. The ratio of the maximum amplitude of the modulating signal to the maximum amplitude of the carrier signal is called as modulation index. Modulation index is given as M is equal to EM by EC. If EM is equal to EC, then we don't have any uh, model, uh, any like we have achieved our 10,000 modulation index. Okay. If EM is less than EC now, it is called as under modulation. Okay. If EM is greater than EC, then we are having over modulation. Okay. Your modulation uh, index is expressed in percentage and uh, it is uh, called as percentage modulation so you can calculate your modulation index from the am waveform so this is your am waveform okay and this is your carrier and th this is your message signal okay so here what happens 
it uh, we can see that it uh, the, from the picture itself the signal that the modulating signal writes upon the carrier signal okay so we can write our first equation as em is equal to e max minus e min by 2 and ec is equal to e max minus em okay and we can write our ec as ec is equal to e max minus e max minus e min so you have to substitute this equation in terms of em here okay e max minus e max minus e min divided by 2 to so after solving here our uh, next step will be ec is equal to e max plus e min divided by 2 okay and taking the ratio of the equation em is equal to e max minus e min divided by 2 and uh, the equation of ec if we take the ratio of these two equation em as well as ec our answer it's nothing but what is that em by ec is nothing but your modulation index m okay so we can write it as e max minus e min divided by e max plus e min so this is the final equation that gives us uh, to, uh for calculating calculation of modulation index from amb